So the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe is next then. This is a Group 1 over a mile and a half for three odds. And that one's the biggest mile and a half race in Europe, I suppose, these days. And at the top, it's Danny Magic for Padre Hogan. Future Treasure, Craig Beckwith, Horridge, Marchi, Leon van Rensburg, Seabird, Martin Leedham, Storm, Murmur, David Robertson. Those two drawn the widest on the track are going to have difficulties. Bella Brandy, Joshua Sutherland, Cafe Pacific also drawn wide for Craig and as his closed entry, his other entry. Joyrider for Dan Hughes, Merchant of Doubt, Leon van Rensburg, Osilla, Darren Thompson, Petrovna Location, David Robertson, Dangerous Outcome, Joshua Sutherland, House Hyden, Dan Hughes, Fiddler on the Roof, Paul Rhodes, Rivera, Paul Rhodes and Winthorpe Harbour. Darren Thompson. So 17 of them in the arc. All ready to go and away they go. And who's going to be the first one to come out and show the lead? One of those wide have got to make a decision as they try and use a bit of pace to get up and cut across. Or they drop in behind. It looks like they're all going to try and go up with the pace at the moment as we lose them behind the screen for a second or two. That's going to happen again in a minute there's another screen coming up. And it's Fiddler on the roof who's probably just in the lead as they sort themselves out and the cameraman decides to switch let's hope he stays at this side of the track for the second part of the race and it's Horridge March who goes past the winning post the first time in the lead Fiddler on the Roof is in second the Sinner is in third then Bella Brandy and Dangerous Outcome flanking that one Storm Murmur is next and then Seabird and they've got to get in from their wide berth so too is Cafe Pacific looking towards the back closed entry and Rivera are the back too but they're racing down towards the mile point already in the arc then and Horridge March has got an undisputed lead of two and a half lengths or so to Storm Moore and Seabird who are wide on the track. Bella Brandy up the centre of the track. Then comes Fiddler on the roof. Petrovna location in a Scylla. House hiding the grey is creeping up the inside. The second grade Joyrider in mid-division. But they are pretty tightly grouped at this point. Then with the leader two lengths clear. And the back pair close entry and Rivera about three lengths adrift. The rest of them are virtually in a line. And it's Horridge March who leads by two lengths. Two in second place. Petrovna location. Joyrider is in third. Then Winthorpe Harbour. Bella Brandy is next. Merchant of Doubt coming through. Dangerous outcomes in there as well. So is Future Treasure. There's plenty in with chances as they can pass the five furlong pole. And Horridge March is showing the way. Storm Murmur. Now puts in a bit of a spurt, surely going to try and cut across on this next turn. Then comes Merchant of Doubt, Winthorpe Harbour is next, then Asilla, then Bella Brandy and Cafe Pacific, Petrovna location, and then Joyrider, Dangerous Outcome, Future Treasure after that one, then Fiddler on the roof, Seabird running in the car park, it's Horridge Marchy in the lead, from Storm Murmur in second, then comes Merchant of Doubt, Asilla, Winthorpe Harbour and Bella Brandy, then comes Cafe Pacific, they're inside the final three, and Horridge Marchy is in the lead, from Storm Murmur in second, then Merchant of Doubt, Asilla, Winthorpe Harbour, Barbara Bella Brandy's after that one, then Fiddler on the roof and Future Treasure, but Horridge March is still clear with two furlongs to go. It's Horridge March, too clear in the arc from a Scylla and Storm Murmur. They're not getting anywhere near him at the moment. Horridge March is still in the lead, but now they're starting to come. Here comes Storm Murmur and a Scylla. Storm Murmur and a Scylla, Fiddler on the roof, Merchant of Doubt, Winthorpe Harbour, they're inside the final half furlong, and it's Storm Murmur and Fiddler on the roof. Storm Murmur, Fiddler on the roof between the two of them, a Scylla, it's Storm Murmur in front. Storm Murmur is in the lead, and here comes on the outside, Cafe Pacific, and Cafe Pacific has taken it. Cafe Pacific has taken it from the widest draw possible, I think, or nearly. And Craig Allen gets up and just takes it. Rivera also finishing like a train. And Craig Allen takes the arc with Cafe Pacific. Just by about a head. So Cafe Pacific with Craig Allen coming out of stall 15. Rivera for Paul Rhodes was second. A sinner for Darren Thompson was third. Storm Moore out of, out of stall 17 was fourth. And David Robertson also took fifth for Petrovna location. David Robertson must be having the best week he's ever had in the league, I would think. Looking down the list, Fiddler on the roof. Didn't do too badly finishing six. Winthorpe Harbour didn't really get into it. Bella Brandy and House Hyden were real big disappointments today. Didn't get into the race. At all. Dangerous outcome didn't do a lot either. Horridge March blew up after leading for a long way and Seabird was beaten by the draw. But there you go then. Cafe Pacific takes the arc for Craig Allen.